Hey Stampers, Gainer again and sounds on and recordings on. <laughs> so I was having a look through the catalogue earlier and I come to the storage and I know I've got my MDF units but I thought look I bet I can make something like that. Well each one of my shelves on my MDF unit holds two stamping up pads. Um, so easy to, uh, to slide the two in. It used to fit one of the old ones but it fits two. So I've made them out of cardstock, thick cardstock. I'm going to put a little box on the top like that for the reinkers. And I've also done little pen holders down the side as well. Mine stick out a little bit further than uh, Stampin' Ups. But if you look at the size of that tray, they're compensating for the pen. But you're only getting your block of ink in halfway. So what's down the back? You know why is it stopped because you can see the stopper marks inside there where it's stopping that from going all the way in obviously because if it went all the way in you wouldn't get it back out but I just thought short knit gainer I've, I've used I've made storage for my blocks I've made storage for my blends I've made storage for my ribbons so why not make storage for these I know I've got mine but it will still hold 10 and it won't stand as tall on your desk. Um, I've done four of the boxes and eight of the pen holders already and you can do it all out of one piece of cardstock. Whether you're American or the USA or uh, USA and in internationals or European. So because the cardstock, believe it or not, is only 10 and a quarter. And I'll show you how you get all your pieces out of one piece. So you get your, mine is 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. Americans is 8.5 by 11. So you can still get your pieces you need with your trimmer. You need to cut this down to 10 and a quarter, like I'm saying. So American sizes can be used as well. don't need this little section and it cuts through my card turn it to its side and then cut at two and a half you need that because you're going to cut that again in a minute and then you take it out and you cut this at five and five eighths so you're not getting that much waste from one sheet I mean that little piece and the bit we just took off so that's going to be for your box. This now you want to cut down to a four and a half, and again four and a half. So not only are you getting your box, you're getting your little pen holders at the side as well. I haven't worked out the dimensions on the side yet for the put to hide the joins, but we'll do all that together now. So scoreboard. You're going to put this on the short side, and if I remember, I'll put the yeah, I'll put the measurements down. You're going to score at half an inch and one and five eighths, and then turn it to the short side, half an inch again, one and five eighths. Then you're going to go five and three eighths, and then six and a half. That's all the scoring. And on these, half an inch, spin it around, and every half an inch. And you do the same with this one. I mean, there's a lot of people can't afford all that and don't want all that plastic in their homes. You know, and I'd sooner make something. I mean, it's different with wood, it's recyclable. But it stands a good 16 inches off the desk. It has got extra compartments, I know that. But, you know, I'd sooner have something like this compact. Maybe I could squeeze it on my desk somewhere then instead of having it all the way down the other end of the room. So I'll just snip up all these. And then might of that one off. And might of that end. How simple is that? So do that again. I 
I'm sure you can see the stuff poking here sitting on my desk, but I'll show you in a minute when we get, when we've done these pieces. I've done, I've done, mine's a little bit on the wonk, but I will do the next box tidy, and then just fold all your score lines. Glue's not clogged up because I've just been to the ladies. Uh, squeeze your glue on. You can use tape if you want. I prefer this, it goes off quicker. And then just I like to fold it the opposite way as well. I know it is perfect. Now the seam is here at the back. So this one I'm going to keep whole, these three I'm just going to nip a little bit off and maybe my uh, one of them, you don't need to do it on them all. And then fold, fold, fold it in and then just glue that. If I did it, the boxes to the length of my pen, or so left it sticking out a tiny little bit, I'd have so much cardboard to go to waste. So we're not doing that. And then just repeat. people have got the new stamp pads if you, if you haven't I do apologize I haven't got an old pad so I can't uh, give the measurements for the old pads but mine have all gone I've all got the new ones so that's the back so I'll pull this one back and let's just lob a bit off each Might have one of those. And then fold, fold, fold. Maybe I'm just going to chop that little bit off there. That's better. And then glue this. Doesn't take long. Glue myself down, she says. And then what I like to do is get the two backs together and just glue them together. pens just gonna push that in make sure they're level perfect right now for this I'm gonna take my long scissors for this so where you've got the half the half inch strip there, cut some mitre. You don't have to, but it just heats it up. And then remove that one, cut down there, take half of it off, and give them a, a little mitre. to the tops of them as well.
show you what it should look like. And they were taking this all off. Does help if Gainer takes the skull line away. Wow, I made a pig's ear of that. I'm like, no, can I just nick that little bit off? That's what you want. So let's get this lot out of the way. Oh, let's hold this now. We can finish our score line. going to glue down this side. Press that down. It likes to go the opposite way as well. And it's a if you want to, don't. If you don't want them to be glued down, don't glue them down. If you don't want to, they will stay there. But I'm going to glue mine because I don't intend opening it up again. And then along this edge. side that's got it and just go in with your bone a little bit now that's got it <laughs> last two ink pads are my Night of Navy and Mossy Meadow and look, they fit in there beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then my pen, I'm just going to get glued on the side, but I want to glue them towards the top. Because this is, a, this is one and three eighths, this is one inch, maybe one and one eighth. So just glue that towards the top of the box. And just because these your, your ink pads have got lips on, so you can even just swap them around and just take them out because they've got they hook into each other anyway with their little feet. It's sturdy, they're not going anywhere. Uh, you just have to repeat that now four times, like I have done here. Uh, like I say, I got a bit wonkified on one side where the pens were, but we'll add cardstock down that side in a moment. And now that only stands, we're going to glue that on in a minute. That stands. at just less than six and three quarters my one over there is like six four fifteen sixteen inches and there you've got your pens at the side you've got your ink pads and there's nothing stopping you from just grabbing each pad and then just popping it back so let's get this glued down whoops don't go gluing your ink pads again enough just want to try your best to keep this as straight as possible and 
this side looks great. This side looks perfect. Look, lovely, nice and smooth. When Nikina turns it around and shows you the pen side. <laughs> Look at this tape. At that. But one of my little box lids is coming out there, so I need to glue that back down. That's it. So just give that a minute to go off. Now we know the measurements, we can prep some nice cardstock. And that is, I'm going to do five and three quarters. And I'm going to use my Midnight, Misty Midnight, Misty Moonlight even. Ooh. And I get two pieces out of this. In fact, I get four pieces out of this. So because it's only four inches wide. So five, three quarters. And I'm gonna double them up because I want the sturdiness. And then by four. So four. This isn't as thick as my white cardstock, but I want it so I can see it because I fetched some nice designer series paper across as well. We're going to cut our little tray that's going to go on top in a minute. First of all, I'm just going to glue these two together. So five sheets of thick cardstock has done five trays, old in ten ink pads, not just five. And one sheet of uh, cardstock has given me extra thickness to go on the side. It's inevitable you're going to see a little bit, but don't worry about that. Mine's on the wonk, that's why. But you can take your time. I was just doing it for video purposes. So I'm going to lay this on the front. And if I'd have lined all my pens up properly, that would have been great. And then flip that round. And then I'm going to do the same on my side. Excuse me, you can use chipboard down the side even if you want, if you want to make it really stiff. Just glue those together. And then this can get glued. You know what, I might, oh no, I'm going to make the lid out of the white, but I'm sure I've got some of this spare in my, oh, a little bit short, that one, was that then? Because the other one said five, five and three quarters. Yeah, look, five and three quarters, and I just cut that to five and three quarters. Oh, I bet I didn't, I bet I've done five and five eighths. Oh, it doesn't matter. Bugging me now. I did five and five eighths. What a silly sausage! Because of the marks on my uh, thingy. You can do down the back as well, but if it's going to go against a wall, no one's going to see it. I love it. So now for our little box. So you're going to need another A4 sheet, and we're going to trim this down. Turn my paper over there. And we need this eight and a quarter by eight. So I'm going to take it down to eight because my card stock is eight and a quarter wide. You can keep that for 
whatever you want after. And then we're just going to score this. You know the routine, ladies. Get one and two inches all round. One, two. top of your box now is four inches that way and four and a quarter that way. Let's test it again because again it's just made a boo-boo. So four and a quarter by four, that's perfect. So I'm going to oh, grab these scissors. Where are they? There they are. And I just mitre a little bit there and then cut down and then we can remove all that with a little mitre and mitre these. So let's repeat that, mitre. Take it down. And my to that end. And you're just going to repeat that on that side. reinforces the little box I don't like to uh, burnish it until after I've done all my trimming. Makes it a lot easier. tabs first and then we're going to hide them with the outer flaps. So I'll do one end first. Pull that up. And the same with that side. cover the little tabs over. Giving you a nice clean edge. So again, Perfect, 
and now we just need to glue down the all three all the other three sides now Sweet, I was filming the album, and uh, I'd taken the battery out and not put it on charge, so I had two dead batteries. <laughs> but I know that one's charged, I'll just take that off. Rome wasn't built in a day, they say, so you could take your time, do one. Well, one of these a day. I'm sure it's achievable in about, well I started this oh, about an hour and a half ago so you can make yourself a unit once a day and that is just going to get glued on the top and then you can put your re-inkers in there then. any more of these I am going to make sure I've got it all perfectly square on no boo boobs I'm just trying that to take a grip and just grab my rear because that tip can reach them from here I haven't got the complete set of re anchors yet, so. In fact, I don't know where all my re anchors went. I had loads of them. I haven't got any of the neutrals. So I'm just saying, let's see how many we can fit in here. Oh, you're definitely going to get your 10 re anchors in here. What have I got in there now? Wow. Wow. I have got 16 re-inkers in each, in that, in that little pot. And the height on that, I can say it, six and a half, maybe six and, Yes, yeah, six and five eighths. That's the height of the whole box. You've got your ink, your ten ink pads, your ten fingers, and you can definitely get more than ten re inkers in there. So let's take six out. Just pretend that they go with them. Two. I think. What's that one? Lovely lipstick, ooh, no. So I've got my, what the hell's that one? Huh? Crisp white. I've got, the only one I've got in there is grey granite. Mossy Meadow. The rest of the colours aren't to go with this, but I need to get my Shaded spruce, oh my goodness. I've got all the new ink colours, that's what it is, but I haven't got none of the others. But you really can see from there that it holds all those. So let's get a little bit of decorating done. I think it's lush. We can decorate the lid separately and add design materials paper down the side. Look how I'll work things out on scraps of paper. <laughs> it's the best way of supposing it. I'm going to write them down in a minute and then hold them up so you can see. So, each box you oh my goodness, need 
what a bullshit. And you're going to cut it to ten and a quarter by five and five eighths. And then with the remaining piece, you want two at. Let me sh let me do the the scoring first. So short side is half an inch and one and five eighths long side is half an inch one and five eighths five and three eighths and six and a half that's for your box and then with the other you off, off the off cuts you need two at four and a half by two and a half uh, short long side sorry half an inch short side every half an inch uh, and two lid these are that's these are for the pens and the lid is eight by eight and a quarter, one and two inches, all four sides. So if I hold that up, that's what you'll need to make this. So you'll only you can do that same one A forty. You'll need five to make the boxes but you'll cut them down and you saw how I cut them down so you get your two little pen holders out of it as well so let's leave that on the desk there whilst uh, we have a look through our gorgeous papers so five I'm going to do them to five and five eighths and I've chosen the, the boho indigo papers I love these absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to have the spots I think and I'm going to have the stripes so I need to get them another one of the spots and I'm going to cut because it's four inches so three and seven eighths have a look and I'm going to do these to five and seven eighths yeah I'd mark my cast out my and then I want to slice this at three and seven eighths and then I want these seven eighths of an inch If I wanted to, I could cut them down to three quarter and then just get my. Oh, they're going to come off about the top shavings. So I've got to go to. I've got to trim it off. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to. I'm going to have to do it because I cut my sides that way. That's that. Get that out. I'm terrible, I need to clean this bar. It's got glue all over it. Oh, I 
bash myself in the chest. Right, now let's get it glued on. Come together. Take them out the top. What's wrong? They're the same size. Oh well, it will all add to the strength. And then what you you can do every year is once stamping up, change their cards, start, uh, retire their DSP, get some new one, and just stick it over the top. It'll just keep getting thicker and more sturdier. And I've cut myself four strips. You won't see around the back, but I'll pour it on anyway. So let's take the palest one. That one, and this can go around the back. Oh, battery's gone, girls. Wait there. Two seconds. Oh, I forgot some of. Oh, do you know what I've cut? I need to cut one at four and one eight. <laughs> My strips on the side will fit, but the one on the front won't. Trim this down. Yep. Take this down to three quarters. I'm bashing myself all over the place here. <laughs> go that is my stampin' up new ink pad story box with my mark pens as well oh do you know i'm hopeless with this glue there we go there we have it isn't that cute stampin' up story on the sides and so easy to remove I mean if you want you could put thumbnails you know cut out half circles but I left it a little bit of wiggle space I haven't got nails when they're on the, uh, the front come out okay if you wanted to make the boxes smaller and do one in each one, I wouldn't waste that much cardstock, see. But that is cute. And then your reinkers, when I get them, gainer, go in the top. Oh, let's cut a little piece. 
of designer series paper because we've got the stripes let's do another one right this is four and one eight by three and seven eighths oops oh. Anything else tonight? <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's use my new seal and save getting the lid out on that. Tray. And if you get bored with these colours, put the UDSP over up. Love it. Obviously going to fall out, but how would you like that? Isn't that cute? I love that. I'm going to find somewhere to put that on my desk. I'm going to do the brights, they're the neutrals, brights, regals and subtles, and then a box for the in colours. So, brights, subtles, Regals in colours, another four of them ready to go, and the width on that is four and a quarter. So, four of them, I can say five of them, 20 inches long, maybe 21 inches long. Perfect, all your ink, lovely stored in one place. And you don't have to go spark around for your markers as well. Perfect. Pop all there, right next to their colour as well. Oh, a bit stiff. I love it. <laughs> I love a thumbs up and a share. That'd be amazing. You could even no, I wouldn't lay them down. You could lay a board up down, then stand the other six up. Well, that is cute. Somebody did ask me that about storage weeks ago, and only now I come around to do it. And it wasn't until I was going through my catalogue that it clicked. That's going to really save some space. Wow, and a hell of a lot cheaper. What, how much of them ones in there? They are. Thirteen pound and for five trays, so twenty six pound would have cost me for those ten. When I've just made it, and then twenty six pound times five is a hundred and five pound just for storage for your ink pads. Now there's a saving for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Give it a go. Let's clean up my ink pads, huh? But there we go, my desk, my stamping storage solution, ink, ink, re-inkers and markers, all in one place. Thank you for watching, love you all, bye.